Okay, we're back. I, I see the error of my ways. Uh, I have uh, all of these supplemental bones are just parented to the arm upper heading version. So they're supposed to be one after the other in hierarchy, which means we don't even need this base bone. Let me save my scene real quick. Alright, so I'm going to clear that out of there. Got parent in place on, so. So now that this is a child there, now we can swing it easy. So let's go back to frame 10. Whoa. Yeah, he's got some changes on the pitch, which is not good. Okay, now we can rotate this guy on the pitch, like so. The heading. And when we put it down at his side, we got the swing bone. Easy as peasy. Okay, well, of course the problem is we get all these different bones for controlling one socket. So uh, there are different methods we can use to simplify that. So let's quickly set up one. I'm going to add a null object. Arm upper control, left. And I'll parent that to the clavicle. I should be on frame 0, not 10. And I want to turn off auto key on before I really screw something up. I turn auto key off. I'm not sure what I said. It's hard doing these things while you're talking. So I'm going to uh, put this over here on the clavicle. And I'm going to delete the key on frame 10. So, okay, nice and clean. Okay, so graph editor. I'm not going to go into great detail about how to make expressions. I'm going to select... Let me see, I need my scene editor again. Arm upper heading. And I'll use uh, get layout selected. and then L for left side. And then I'm going to... Uh, what was the name of our new controller? Oh, I'm going to be in objects mode. Arm upper CTRL L. Okay, it's uh, not validating, so let me double check my spelling. Ah. I should have. Uh... Okay, now we're good. You can see when it says apply, everything's cool. So, click and apply, there it is. Okay, he jumped over here. I want to see why that is. That's because when I parented that, I had parent in place on. So these guys have got all screwed up. So zero those out. And now we should be good. So now when I rotate this heading, we got control of that. So let's move on to the next bone. The pitch. I will clone this, pitch, and pitch, and I'm going to apply it here. So now, I got pitch, 
and heading heading and pitch and then uh, what I'll do is I'll use the bank rotation for the swing so basically we got a shortcut everything without having to click on different bones everything all the controls in one place so let's real quickly clone this bank bank and we apply that to the swinger right there get layout selected remember, remember this is not going onto the bank it's going on the heading So now let's see what we got. Pitch, heading, and bank for swing. Just uh, keep in mind that, uh, let me go to frame 10 so I can turn auto key on. Uh, just remember that when you have the arm at down the side, that's when you can use the swing. If you uh, have the swing on and you turn it up, then you're gonna, then it's gonna get all funky. So, I'm going to zero out his bank, and now we're back. So just keep that in mind. When, when you're done swinging, he's going to put his arm up to have his bank value. You know, you can start whatever it is here and then just go to zero by the time it's up here. So you got your standard control back for just uh, doing things other than swinging. So uh, let's... Um, I'm going to go in the graph editor and if you click on here for the expressions I'm going to turn these off so we'll look at an alternate method for controlling. I'm going to turn auto key back off again uh, we can go in the graph editor I need my scene editor open too heading get layout selected so we got that just restricted to there, and there's the pitch, add, and the swing. So there's another another method you could go into a graph editor and pick the various channels and. I'm not on frame 10, that's why we're not seeing that update. So you can see right there. That's another way. One last way. Go back to frame 0. Go to Geometry, Item Shape. Oh, we're heading on to uh, 8 minutes here, so I'm going to stop this. We'll continue on the last part.